you know, this was okay. We'll, we'll look at the tape and figure out the spring game. I mean, it's always, it's always a little bit uh, ugly at times, and there's some ugly stuff today. Sunnier days are ahead for Louisiana Tech as Sonny Dykes gets ready for his second season as Louisiana Tech's head coach. We were just a completely different football team this spring than we were a year ago. Further along in every way, uh, you know, our execution was better, our attention to detail was much better. Uh, you know, we were more, more competitive, we've got a lot more players and guys fighting for positions than they did in the past. And, and so overall, it felt like it was an excellent spring, one of the best I've been around. Tech's top priority heading into the spring was finding a number one quarterback. Colby Cameron believes he's the man to lead the Bulldogs back to a bowl game. Coming out of spring training, he's definitely the guy. And, uh, you know, the good thing is uh, there's been many times before we've had it. We've come out of spring with, with one guy as a starter and somebody else has beat him out. He's going to have to hold, hold everybody else off. Uh, you know, we got a true freshman coming in that we think uh, will compete for the job as well. So, you know, we'll just kind of see how it all plays out. And, and uh, the great thing is uh, competition makes everybody better. Just means I got to work hard because I got four other, five other quarterbacks chasing me. So I got to be the leader and uh, work as hard as I can to stay at that position. Seven road games, including trips to Southern Miss, Ole Miss, and Mississippi State, will certainly put the Bulldogs' newfound confidence to the test. You know, we're going to have to continue to, to push forward and grow and, and keep moving forward. And uh, Because really, the, the, this football team's success will be determined from what happens between now and, and uh, you know, and really when we report in two of days. Uh, we got to continue to move forward. We've got to continue to correct the little things and understand that it takes doing all those things right to become a great football player and a great team. For CST Tonight, I'm Aaron Dietrich.